everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we have another change to the world of Misty Ore. We have a new version of Misty Ore Blooming Bouquet. Um, I have just been and got this. Um, here it is. Um, so I'm going to be letting you know how if this differs to the original Miss Steel Blooming Bouquet, which I have here. This follows on from the news um, that Miss Steel Absolutely Blooming is definitely discontinued and has stopped being made. So I just did an article actually listing out all the places that still have Absolutely Blooming. Um, so I'll leave that link down below. A few places like do still have it, but it really is stopped. So when it's gone, it's gone. I'll also leave links down below in the description to where you can get the old version of the bouquet as well. Cool, um, and if you are new here then hello and welcome, we're all about perfumes. I have hundreds of videos just like this and my blog as well where I do have an article that goes through all the different versions of Miss Dior um, explaining the difference between them all because it is quite confusing. And big shout out to anyone out there that remembers Miss Dior Cherie which was my favourite fragrance, it's been discontinued a long time now and the fragrance that inspired my first perfume empress. Cool, okay so um, Miss Dior at Blooming Bouquet is a perfume that I've had um, for years. Um, I do recommend this. It's a really pretty, clean peony fragrance. It reminds me a lot of Versace Bright Crystal. It's clean, it's very true to the real life scent of peony. It's kind of like a watery floral, very, very light, definitely spring, summer, um, and it is an eau de toilette. So it's very innocent, very beautiful, quite pricey for what it is, but it is a definitely a beautifully comprised fragrance. So recently their Mistyol fragrance original Eau de Parfum um, was relaunched to have this paper, not paper, ribbon bow on it instead of the old metal bows and they totally changed Mistyol and made it a lighter lily of the valley white floral, no more patchouli, no more like deep prose. Um, and I don't really like it anymore. So I was super scared <laughs> when I saw that Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet had also now got this um, ribbon on it. Now the ribbon is beautiful. There's nothing wrong with the ribbon. I love it. Dior known for their gorgeous ribbons. So let's see how different it is. Okay. It's definitely not exactly the same, but it's not majorly different. I would say that it's not quite as strong. It's maybe a little bit lighter and it's a teeny bit sweeter. So what I really liked about um, original Blooming Bouquet is that it's a really clean peony. Um, there's no sweetness to it. The new Blooming Bouquet, what they've done is they've added a bit of a, a sweet pea note, which is actually a fragrance note I really like, but sweet pea um, is slightly sweet, hence the name. Um, so it's clean floral with that little bit of sweetness. It also feels a bit more musky to me. If you're a fan of the original Blooming Bouquet, you'll like this new 2023 one. Um, and most people probably won't really be able to tell any major difference. So it's not a big deal. I was speaking to Ruth, who does, who's my um, perfumer, who does all the chemical and everything um, behind my perfume. And she is saying that recently an ingredient's been banned that's in a lot of perfume. So I wonder what it might be one that's um, reason why they've changed this. It's a sort of Lily of the Valley type one. Um, so that could be it, maybe. Don't know. I think one thing that is kind of good is the new Blooming Bouquet comes in three sizes, whereas the old one was just, I think, 50 and 100, whereas the new one does a 30 mil now, which is very small, very cute. Um, and they do, of course, have their roller pearls, which I find better for lasting than the perfume because um, it's an oil and I find it lasts better. Um, but they're both still a light, fresh eau de toilette, very light perfume. So I'm not mad about this change. I do like the bow being fabric on the bottle, but I think, it's, again, it's just a little bit confusing from Dior. Everything's going on. Um, but absolutely blooming, which is the fruity deep one that is definitely discontinued, confirmed um, at the beauty counter at Harrods here in London. So um, you have to stock up on that before it's gone forever. So yeah, so guys, let me know what you think. I mean, the branding and everything is beautiful as always with Natalie Portman and all the flowers. 
Um, but yeah, let me know what you think of this new one. Can you tell the difference? But yeah, that's it from me. And um, like I said, I do have an article that explains the difference between all the Misty Ores, so I'll leave that link down below as well. And where I can still find this old version from 2014 of Blooming Bouquet, I will put the links down below, but this will disappear from the internet very quickly. Cool, well, that's it. So thanks so much for watching, guys. Do give the video a thumbs up, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.